Reality check man from a your voice and you know it's a unique one aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, today my viewers and subscribers who is living at home and who are in the diaspora abroad. My God, my God, my God. We now see we're the first in the history of Jamaica. We're the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness is now refer to the financial investigation division who investigate financial crime let i state it again the prime minister of jamaica is referred to the financial investigation division which we know investigating financial crime the prime minister of jamaica is now being investigated for financial crime but anyway today my viewers and subscribers you don't know me in our position right now where we just have to do it off of the screen but you know we have to get a revise out there i have two clips that i want to play i want to play a clip when Andrew Olness say every ghetto youth is a star. And I also want to show another clip where I think two ladies went into a supermarket. And because of the poverty and the economic crisis that is going on in our country, they go and they do something that they should not. When them steal some items out of those supermarkets. And the people them did they put them up. Disgrace them, laugh off of them. Big woman like you. The thief. But at the same time, when the Prime Minister of Jamaica thief millions of dollars, we have some people who want to defend it. But in my book, my grandmother used to tell me, grandson, every thief is a damn thief. And if your thief a pack a lasco and your thief a million dollar, you is still a damn thief. Anyway. We will listen to a clip with Andrew Olness, and then after we will dissect it. Take it away. It is not just my belief. One DJ said it far more eloquently than I could say it. Every ghetto youth is a star. So anyway, my viewers and subscribers, that was Andrew Olness. says prosperity must share for all, not for just some few, the uptown Tapanaris, but for all the ghetto youths. But let us look at the reality and not trick ourselves in front of ourselves. And the facts that is right there in front of us. The only ghetto youth what we know is a star and the only ghetto youth with a star like the shine pan is the ghetto youth from 56 Cumberland Road, Spanish Town, Andrew Olness. The only ghetto youth that we see star like the shine pan is the ghetto youth in the Prime Minister Andrew Olness from 56 Cumberland Road in Spanish Town. The man who held 28 bank account, my viewers and subscribers. 28 bank account and multiple businesses. Andrew Olness. He 
open an account in SSL, Stocks and Security Limited of Jamaica, with zero down. And in few months, millions were transferred into that account. Uno you know just say? The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness, opened an account at SSL. The scandalous, the disgraceful, the criminal organization or the criminal institution in SSL. The Prime Minister take out an account there with zero in it. And in few months time, it was millions of dollars were transferred in that account. Andrew Olness, you are the only ghetto youth the starlight is shining on. The Prime Minister Andrew Olness net worth grows to $60 million in the pandemic. $60 million, the Prime Minister Andrew Olness net worth. That's what go on for the net worth in the pandemic. And when he filed his taxes and his multiple business, he filed with zero down. He filed with zero down. So the question what we are asked, your net worth grows in the pandemic to 60 million. And when you file your taxes, you file zero. How can your network grow to 60 ad million or 60 million? And then when you are filing your taxing, you file nil, zero. That the company them no make no money. Make that make sense, Jamaica. Make that make sense. Anyway, I am going to play the next clip with this lady. Are these two ladies that steal something out of our supermarket? I'm not saying it's right. But we know that times rough, times tough, the poverty turn up 20%. Two millions of us is not yamming a nutrition meal on a daily basis. Flour, rice, chicken back, tin mackerel, sugar and water, name it. So it is rough and tough. And then disgrace the lady. And put her up anywhere, Jamaica. But we watch a clip and then we will dissect it after. Take it away. You hear that Jamaica? Big woman like you. See a lot, see a lot, see a lot. When them bust the bag and throw the things them. You can disgrace the poor. Who for them ends can hardly meet. Because of the hardship that this administration lay out over the island. People don't have money to buy food. People don't have money for send them picnic to school. No jobs, no growth, no development. And that for some of them to go do things what them don't want to do. Circumstance will force you to do things that you don't want to do. But you can disgrace them and laugh off of them and mock them and put them up. But when the Prime Minister of Jamaica thief millions of taxpayers' money, you don't want to defend him. There is no defense here. You cannot defend the undefensible. The Prime Minister of Jamaica is a criminal. The Prime Minister of Jamaica is a bandit. The Prime Minister of Jamaica is tricky, is cunning. Narcissist, self center egoistic. That's what he is. A criminal. The Prime Minister of Jamaica. 
We will be playing back again, Jamaica, and hear what he say about every ghetto youth is a star. Play him back again and hear him, Jamaica. So Jamaica, my viewers and subscribers and home and who are living in the diaspora abroad, the prosperity is real, but the prosperity is only for a few, including the ghetto boy, the barefoot boy, the poor boy, the poverty ass boy from Spanish town and jewelness. From 56 Cumberland Road, he is the only one that's seen the prosperity. He is the only one that's seen the star that's shining on him and his family. One man of 28 bank account moving millions of dollars around. While children in Jamaica cannot go to school because they cannot find the first cent to buy uniform, to buy books, buy bag. Them can't find the first cent to buy food to fool them stomach. Think about that, Jamaica. Poverty rose under Andrew Olness to 20%. Jamaica has in its worst state in the history of Jamaica. Two million of us cannot eat a nutrition meal. What do I mean? The only thing what they can eat a rice and protein. Meat, flour, chicken back, yam, banana. Just think about it, Jamaica. While your prime minister have multiple business, and when he filed, he filed zero, nil. And at the same time, he thought that his net worth go to 60 odd or 60 million. Explain that to me, my viewers and subscribers. You file nil and your taxes, zero. But at the same time, you are claiming a growth of 60 odd percent of your net worth. You open an account in the same disgraceful criminal organization in SSL with zero down. Zero down, no money, nada, zero, not. And in few months, that same account that you open with zero down, no value, millions of dollars. Where is that money come from? Andrew Owens. So the only thing that I can say to you and your followers, Kamika Prince may not find you guilty, but we don't need Kamika Prince to find you guilty because the report of itself and that revelation that was read out in the House of Parliament and the Jamaican people now are aware and know the Sligo old facts, the bandit, the criminal, the two-foot puss that they are dealing with in the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness. Game's over. It no matter what you want to find your so labor rights. Game's over. You are finish you are finished right there so you there anyway my viewers and subscribers stay tuned to aromatic realistic tv like and share and follow the movement over youtube if you're not subscribed yet i don't know why you are wait man but the opportunity is still there i saw the thing said the message is for the ghetto the inner city rural jamaica the grassroots the swamp the gutter the trenches
the Maros, the forgotten, make sure the message resonate because you guys are the decision maker. The signature word, aromatic, continue to remind you guys. Art of love. Art of love. Write this up. Peace, my people. Out. Mad.